Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is Kids Club Night and I am so glad that you are here with me. Wow, what a story this week, huh? About the big giant Goliath and little David. It is so crazy. I'll fill you in if you are have missed Sunday. So the Palestinians, they were fighting um, the the Israelites and they were the Philistines. They were already big and pretty bad. And the Israelites, they were a little bit smaller and the Philistines, they sent Goliath in to fight. And the Israelites, they were a little worried, but David, yes, little David, he volunteered to go and fight him. And he used his stones and his slingshot he had already known how to use his stones in his slingshot because when he would tend to his sheep, that's what he would use when a wolf came and would try to get a sheep. So he actually won. He used a stone and it hit Goliath right in the head and knocked him out and won. So he used God's gift that he had given him. God was actually there helping him. So who's ready to see how cool Carl explains this story tonight? All right, let's sit back and watch and see what happened. Holy guacamole. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Hassy. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. I, I can't, I, I can't, I can't believe that it. He was, and then he, I was just, wow. He, was, he and then he was, hey, Carl. Cassie, I'm so glad you're here. I have so much to tell you. Okay, calm down. What happened? The most glorious thing. Do you remember what we learned about last week? David becoming king. Exactly. Well, I just read the next chapter today in... <laughs> really? What happened? Well, the nation of Israel was at war with the Philistines, and David's older brothers were fighting with the Israelite army. David wasn't fighting? Nope. He was still just a kid. He was a shepherd, which meant he took care of sheep. I learned that because I'm a genius. So what did David do next? Well, he was told to bring food to his brothers, but when he got there, he saw a giant of a man. This giant's name was Goliath. That's right, I remember his name. He was a Philistine, right? Correct, and he was a real bad guy. But the thing is, everyone was afraid to fight him, even the king. I can imagine. What happened next? Well, get this. David went into the king and told him, I'll fight the giant. David, the youngest brother, the shepherd boy? That's crazy. Right? Well, the king said yes, and David went to get ready, but he was so small that the armor didn't even fit him. But David didn't even need armor, because he knew God would protect him. Wow, that takes a lot of faith. Sure does. So David walked out in front of Goliath, and Goliath looked at David and started to laugh. But then David said, you come at me with the sword, but I come at you in the name of the Lord Almighty. So Goliath had a sword? What did David have? He had five stones and a slingshot. He learned to use his slingshot when he had to protect his sheep from bears and lions. Oh, I see. So Goliath was on his way to attack David, but David put that stone in the sling and swung it around just like this, released it, and that stone went right in between Goliath's eyes. David walked over, grabbed Goliath's sword, killed Goliath, and he saved all the Israelites. Whoa, I can't believe that. Right? The Israelites won. Well, yeah, but I was thinking something else was even more incredible. More incredible than Goliath being defeated? Actually, yeah. Like what then? Well, what was David gifted at? Well, he knew how to throw rocks with a sling. That's right. He was really good at that. That was his gift, and God used that. He also knew how to use his brains in battle. That's right. David was creative and smart. He used what he did know how to do to figure out something he didn't know how to do. So God used David's gift to defeat the Philistines and to help others. You got it. And I think it's important that we find out what our gifts are and use them for God. That's a good idea. So, do you have any gifts, Carl? Gifts? Of course I have gifts. All right, what are they? Watch and learn.
Whoa. Wow, that was really cool. Thanks, I know, I'm pretty impressive. Yeah, sure. So how do you use those things for God? What do you mean? I mean, all of that is great, but if we have talents and gifts and we don't use them for God, what's the point? I guess I never really thought of it that way. Yeah, we just can't forget that God is the one who gave us those gifts in the first place. So it's our job to use them for God. Wow, you're right. I guess I just need to remember that God can use my gifts. You know what? That sounds a lot like our big idea this week. You're right! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is a big one. It's that God can use my gifts. So on the count of three, we're all going to say the big idea together. One, one two, two, three. God can use my gifts! <laughs> you did it! Woohoo! That's good. Today's lesson sure was fun. It sure was, but I'm kind of bummed. Really? Why? Because I never got to show my gift. Oh, well, it's not too late. What's your gift? I can disappear. <laughs> Why, are you serious? Yep. You're telling me you can disappear? Yeah, you want to see? Yeah, I would love to see that. I would love to see you disappear. Cassie? Cassie! This isn't funny! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I have to go find Cassie. Hey, Carl. Ah! Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Wow. Just like last week when we learned that God chose David to be king, that was a pretty crazy story, wasn't it? David using his stones to take down that giant. It was a good one. Who's ready for our uh, study questions? All right, let's get busy. Let's get started. All right, question one. Why do you think Goliath thought that the Philistine army was better than the Israelite army? Well, that's right, because the Philistine army was much bigger. Remember, just like when in last week's story, everybody looked with their eyes at the physical appearance. God looks at our hearts and looks at the gifts that he gives us. Question two, what types of tools did David choose not to use to fight Goliath? Right, they wanted him to use that big heavy armor. But David said, I can't use this. I'm not used to using this. And if I use it, I will lose for sure. I have to use the tools that I know how to use. Question three, why was David confident that he could beat Goliath? Well, David believed in God and David prayed to God. He spoke to God every day and he knew that he was confident in the gifts that God had given him. He knew how well he could do with a slingshot. He knew he could hit the bullseye and Goliath, he was the bullseye, wasn't he? First Samuel 17, 45 says, But David told the Philistine, You are coming against me with sword, spear, and smiter, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of the heavenly forces, the God of Israel's army, army and the one you've insulted. So who did David make absolutely clear whose side he was on? That's right, he was on God's side. And when we're on God's side and he's on our side, we can do anything, right? Question five, why does God give us gifts? Well, we were made to be in relationship with others. And when we have gifts, we can help each other, can't we? We can do things and we can help each other. Question 
Question six, how can you use your gifts to serve God? Why don't you let me know? If you're coming to church on Sunday, why don't you draw a picture and bring it to me? If you're not, why don't you draw a picture and you can mail it and we'll share it with each other. How can you use your gifts to serve others? What are some things that you can do for someone else? We discovered in our Bible story how David was brave to fight the giant Goliath. And we too can be brave when we're facing obstacles in front of us. Sometimes we face situations that they can be very scary. But you know what's scary for me might not be scary for you. Everyone gets scared at one time or another, but God gives us just what we need to be brave. Just like God gave David his stones. God is always with us. And as our creator, God knows us and helps us use our gifts to each of us. Nothing is too big for God or for us, especially when we have God on our side. All right, guys. I'll see you next Sunday and I hope you have a good week.